Anybody has any questions? We only had um, we only had a chance to play in thirty five games with Coos and Brad. In those thirty five games, what was the chemistry like for you, and, and what did that feel like during those moments? It's true. 20, uh, 35 games only, and not ideal for us. I uh, felt like we did have some good stretches where it clicked and it was fun and felt like if we take this away, we can do this, and if we take that away, then we have another weapon. Um, so there were glimpses of us playing really, really nice basketball, but at the end, 35 is, is not enough for guys that are playing together for the first time to really build something um, um, that, that uh, or, or not to build something, just to have a good rhythm as, a, as us and also as a team. Because once somebody's out, boom, the dynamic is, all, again, different. So not ideal and, and uh, led us to this kind of um, season. Uh, where are we? From like the low twenties. Yeah, that's a big part of today's game: shooting three pointers, shooting a lot of three pointers, and shooting them at a high rate. Um, I um, I believe that has to be a big emphasis for uh, for whoever who who's going to be here next season to to get. The percentages up, you know, it's a big, big emphasis. It has to be. It's at the end, it's, uh, as we all know, like the numbers start to take over more and more in in, in basketball, and 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 uh, it's just the reality. If you're more effective, if you shoot a higher percentage, you're going to win more games. So um, that has to be an emphasis, and 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 you know, we're all going to be working in off season to to become a, a, a better players individually and then hopefully bring it together next season again. What will you work on individually? What will I work on? Um, I'll have a lot of things on my mind that uh, I, I want to get better at. Um, I don't know if I want to uh, go into too much detail, but uh, I'll keep working on my uh, – physical uh, ability, my body, to create even more space for myself because on every scouting report, there is be as physical as you can with him and try to wear him down throughout the game. And that's what teams do. So I'm already much, much, much better at it than I was early in my career, for example. But still, have, I still feel with the rhythm that I had this season, if I keep working on that and I keep getting better at that. At that, that will help my game even more. Um, so just to name one thing from, you know, that, 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 that's it. And, but there's definitely more stuff that I'll look into and I'll also gather information from Wes, from Dean, from my own sources that I'll put together a plan for this summer and, and take my game to the next level. When will I decide? Sorry. Or have you decided? Uh huh. Uh, what's the? No, I think the, 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 the. I have to see what the timing is now. I, I'm actually gonna meet with my people, my team, uh, soon. Tomorrow, and and then I'm gonna understand better how what's the timing like and how this is gonna look going forward. But of course, as any human being, I would like to have like clarity as, as soon as possible to, to have an idea of what's what's coming. Uh, yeah, so more or less, that, that's that's where I'm at right now. Talked about what you can give the team, how well the organization has been, your own health, and just yeah. seeing where you'd like to be. Is it fair to say that or to opt out, you just want to spend time long term here? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I feel at home here. 
I, uh, believe it or not, I love the city. I know a lot of people are, I don't know, saying that uh, whatever is not a sexy destination for other free agents, but but I really like the city and and um, and just seeing how people are around the organization, how especially people at the top, how proactive they are and how much I see that there's willingness to get this to a better place. Uh, that, in my eyes, has a lot of value. And, and that kind of gets me excited. So I'm looking forward to what's coming and, and, and yeah, hopefully we have some clarity soon. One of the main things I, I always hold him to is that we saw what we saw what you're capable of. You know your best games or even some stretches that he did multiple games in a row playing really high level. More for him is now more of having that consistency. You know and that comes of course with experience, with age, with maturity. Uh, but I want to see more consistency from him throughout the year, and that's the challenge for him. Um, and, and keep working on his on his percentages. Keep working on his shot. Keep working on his decision making, and all these things. And, and slowly, it's gonna, you know, come together, and and he will become the player that he envisions himself being. Uh, but uh, most importantly, that this guy has the has the want. He has the hunger, and uh, and I know uh, this summer he's gonna be he's been, he's gonna be working. He wants to get better. Uh, we're gonna to try to get together this summer too for some for some workouts together. So expect a big summer from him and and uh, and, and growth. So so yeah, I think the best best is yet to come for for Denny for sure. Hey, TV, how you doing? Um, with the quote that says you can't judge a book by its cover, mm -hmm. there was a perception that you were not like a, a cool guy, but you came in Washington and people have really got to see your positive, cool personality. Um, what does it mean to know that? You that Washington helped paint you into the person that we know you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, man. Um, yeah, of course. You have to leave a place, especially maybe that the way that it ha happened in my career. Uh, there's some some baggage that you come with, no, and some perception or some uh, some stereotype. Uh, and uh, it's not good to be in that situation, but. At the end, the only thing that matters really is you can. Is how you play. It's how you play, and 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 that already changes a little bit of the perception. But then, of course, you show off, or you show your personality. You show you just be yourself. And at the end, I feel like now, you know, the way, um, the way I have showed myself here in uh, Washington, and and um, it has it's changing a little bit maybe the perception about me. So. I'm uh, I'm just being myself, uh, playing my game, trying to get better in every aspect of my life, and uh, and then those things I think just take care of themselves. And then one more for you. I know Kevin Durant called you the unicorn. Do you have any nickname maybe from back home or somebody that a teammate gave you that was like, oh, I like that one too? Not really. I don't think I never. I mean, I had some, but more like funny ones. More like funny ones. Yeah, I think unicorn is the one that, in basketball wise, kind of stuck. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. Not mean, but uh, right. maybe oh, out yeah, of line a little bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's big time. Big time for me to finish the season uh, like this. Um, in terms of like how my body feels and and where I'm at and. It's like a head start. It's also a long off season. Uh, I haven't had this kind of off season for a while. Uh, no, actually, last year. Last year we finished around this time or no? Yeah. Okay. So wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just how my body feels and how I felt throughout the year. It's uh, it's just I don't know. My mind is just like I'm so so like up. And energetic about this offseason that I feel like I could take my game many levels 
up still. And and I always say like I'm only like scratching the surface of my prime in my in my own eyes. <clears throat> and um and I'm excited. I'm excited for what's coming. I'm excited for this off season and and uh I think, uh, good question. Um, I have to give credit to the people here. PJ uh, has been uh, has been great. Um, uh, added many new things to my routines. Uh, the people that I have worked with for a long time. Um, I put the good support system around me, and also just me, my body maturing. I think I had a few like bumps on the road throughout my career and uh, and you always learn something and and yeah and adding uh, having that experience and, and now adding some more pieces and and ideas and things to my to my journey uh, has helped me and it's been a great year Mm -hmm. no, I think it was great since the beginning of the season. Uh, throughout the season, I think everybody got closer. Uh, really, like, fun locker room. I'm going to say it was a fun locker room. Um, it's always much more fun when you're winning. When we had those stretches when we were winning, it felt like, man, we're unstoppable, we're invincible. We got the turbo on, like, everything's just clicking, you know? So we want to move going forward if, if, if all of this stays the way it is, then uh, we want to have more of those moments. We want to just feel invincible and, and have that swagger about us. So, um, there's there's stuff to look forward to for sure. And, and but uh, overall, as as people, as as players, I would say great chemistry in my opinion.